Hi, this is the three minors trap in the Evans Gambit Declined, and it's where three minor pieces combine harmoniously to inflict a beautiful mate. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4 and Bishop C5, we have the Italian, where white goes for the Evans Gambit with B4. But black doesn't have to accept that gambited pawn and may choose the Evans Gambit declined with Bishop B6. A4 by white poses a direct threat to push on with A5 and net the black bishop on B6. So the move A6 provides black with a, a backward flight square. And after A5, Bishop A7. White can try B5, which in match play really hasn't scored too well for white. After a takes b5, bishop takes b5, black develops knight f6 and hits the pawn on e4. And now white goes for a regular thematic move in the Evans, bishop a3. Bishop a3 prevents black from castling, yet it does also offer black the chance of capturing the pawn on e4. And if black takes on e4, Queen e2 offers white some chances along the e-file, but the truth is black is doing much better here after bishop takes on f2. However, not wanting to leave the knight hanging on, on e4, black can simply take knight takes on f2. This allows white the chance to play knight takes e5, and is more or less equal if black continues with knight e7. However, black runs into not only trouble but to a losing position with a move knight d4, which looks a pretty decent move by black. That's hitting the queen. Because if the queen were to take the knight on f2, then black is winning after knight takes on c2, check, and picking up the white queen. So after knight d4 by black, white has a winning combination with knight takes d7, check, giving up the queen. And after black captures, knight takes on e2. We have knight f6, double check and mate, check and check with the bishop on a3 cutting off the king. So this has been the delightful three minors trap in the Evans Gambit declined. Hope you found it useful and thank you for watching. Bye bye.